All right, let's carefully try to take on some of these murlocs here. Like, and by carefully, I mean let's just wander out onto the beach and let them run up on us. Careful, right? Ah, uh, yeah, we're gonna have we're gonna have an inventory problem, right? Do we need to hearth back? I mean, it's not really a big deal at this point, and I, and I think maybe we should. Maybe we should just hearth back. Can maybe make one more slot here, just because we can remake a bunch of these potions. Uh, let's try to get our three Murloc eyes, okay? And then we'll hearth. And hopefully they won't drop too much in the way of additional items, but we'll have to see. Yeah, the barnacled clams, that's, that's going to kill us because we have to open those. To get the clam meat. There we go. That is going to kill our inventory if they keep dropping those. And if this drop rate does turn out to be bad, then we might just want to hearth back. Then again, we are only one eye away. And then we don't have to come out here again for a while. I don't know if we ever have to fight Murlocs again, actually. In Westfall, at least. We're going to fight them many, many other places, but in Westfall. Don't know if we need him again. He <laughs> dodged the overpower, great. That worked out rather well. Now we just don't have rage to do it. Okay, great. Yeah, that worked out. That worked out perfectly. I'm just gonna get out of here now. And yeah, we just need three okra. Where in the world are we getting okra? I thought it would be picked up on one of the farms, but it's like, are they gonna have us pick up okra and sacks of grain? Uh, but yeah, potentially that's exactly what they're gonna do. Let's sell some stuff. You need something? And let's be like very careful about what exactly it is we're selling. Yeah, the murloc eyes we need. Light feathers we don't need. Chunks of boar meat I want to cook. Boar intestines. Do we need boar intestines? No, we need gorta snouts and livers. We can sell the intestines. This I'd like to put up on the auction house. Yeah, we just, uh, we don't have enough space. We don't have enough space. You don't sell bags, do you? No, you don't. Farewell. Yeah, and we haven't completed anything, so we have nothing to turn in yet, and I don't know if we can find a general goods vendor here somewhere, then maybe we could buy another bag. Baked bread, bowyer, trade supplies. Okay, uh, well... Let's take a look up here. I don't remember there being a general goods vendor here either, but we can take a look. The one guy was a quartermaster, right? Maybe he'll have some bags. Hey there. Yeah, there we go. Okay, we have to do this. We don't have the silver, but I mean, we have to do this. We have to have bag space. Like, I don't know, guys. <laughs> 
I'm going to spend all of our money on bag space because that is what's going to benefit us most in the long See run. Them. Obviously, we have skills that we absolutely do need. Like, rank 2 of battle shot would be pretty great right about now. Uh, but bags. We need bags. And we, we got the one bag to drop, but we haven't uh, had any other luck with it so far. So, it's time to spend the money. Okay, we are basically going to beeline it back out uh, over here, right? We're going to cut through here, fight all the defiance we can. We want to get out to where the gnolls are at. This level 14 might have a liver for us. No, just some more boar intestines. We're finding a lot of smugglers, I'm realizing, and we're finding a lot less trappers. That might eventually be something that holds us back on this quest here, unless we come across a bunch of trappers pretty soon. Not gonna take out these level 15 guys, we're just gonna wait and look for the level 13 and level 14 gore tusks. Because, yeah, I don't want to get beat to death by a boar. It's kind of my primary concern. Uh, we are tracking herbs, there just aren't a lot of herbs in Westfall. I mean, you can kind of tell that the land maybe has seen healthier days. Everything is kind of in an autumnal state of golden decay. Let's come up over here and we'll get the Peace Bloom. Uh, we're gonna have to take this guy out. Let's do that, get him out of the way. That way we can herb in peace. Level 15 Gore Tusk. Uh, well. Oh no! Oh, there it is. I thought, I thought somebody stole that right from under us. That would have been sad and pathetic. The Bruise Weed we can't get. So let's go poke our heads around over here and see if we can find some of those low, lower level gnolls. And then we have the Molson farm where we could get some Defias stragglers. Okay, these guys are level 13. Uh, this one's running. We're gonna take him out. That was a huge mistake he just made. Uh, let's not make a huge mistake ourselves. Let's pull him... Well, I mean, we're kind of surrounded by vultures, so...
just kind of use that charge to get... Oh, no! <laughs> I was going to say I used that charge to uh, get away from the vulture, but... Yeah, that didn't really work out for us now, did it? Let's die peaceably up here on the hill. So, yeah. Well, that's how you get slaughtered by a null camp, I'd say. That's a lesson in what not to do. A lesson in what not to do. Okay, how far are we? Oh, gosh, we're far. I thought that charge was pretty slick uh, to get us away from the vulture and to uh, the other side there, but... No, that backfired. Big time backfired. We are going to have to start scouting the fields for this okra since I, I haven't really seen any... Overall, we're doing good. The thing about this zone is we're kind of progressing all of these at once, so we're not going to get that big experience payoff until we've completed a bunch of these, because they're all going to be done around the same time. We could probably stay out in the field and get them done now that we have bag space. Kind of hoping that this bag space will last us. Uh, so that we can take care of the majority of this stuff. Then go turn it in and hopefully take on another big round of quests. Okay, so let's uh, retrieve our body somewhere that might be safe. Like, this is not the place. This is not the place to retrieve our body. Maybe... This is the very edge of what we can do. Let's run over here. Alright, so we're not pulling that camp. That is not happening. This Flesh Ripper is just kind of becoming really annoying, and I, I part of me says take it out. And now I'm kind of wondering, are we going to find any of these groups that don't have two guys? Or are we going to have to look for just the guys who are patrolling around? Like we have this one over here. All right, let's find out uh, what the null paw drop rate is. Well, it's 100% so far. We can get this mage royal here if we can avoid the flesh ripper. Uh, we're not avoiding it. It's when we loot an enemy like that and they drop four different items, that's going to fill up our inventory. Really, really quickly. Uh, Peace Bloom, and I'm going to go for the Mage Royal first. And if any of you guys are out there and you, like, kind of want to play, but you're thinking to yourself, like, everyone's going to out-level me, there's not a point, uh, why, why should I even bother, like, yeah, it's all going to love balance out, right? Remember, you're getting a huge bonus to, like, how quickly you level, so eventually we're all going to be max level. I mean, it's going to happen. Just put in the time a day that you can put in, you know, if you only can play an hour a day, play an hour a day. Sometimes I can only play an hour a day. Sometimes I can't play an hour a day. And that's perfectly fine. Like, Azeroth is going to be there for you, waiting, uh, whenever you want to log in. It's not going anywhere. 
And we'll all be hanging out in Discord if you want to join us. And yeah, just level at your own pace. There's always like a big fear of missing out, right? You always get that, that sensation that if you don't get on the bandwagon and level as fast as you can with everybody else and stay logged in all day that, that you're missing out on something, but you're not. You're not because there's tons of people who can only play for a, a, an hour a day or a couple of hours a week. And they still want to get on and enjoy the game, so... Especially in the first couple months after a fresh start, like, you're not going to be leveling alone. Uh, let's see here. Peace Bloom up ahead in the middle of all of these guys. Is it going to be worth it? We're going to have to fight the Coyote. Uh, maybe we won't. This Peace Bloom is a little bugged out. This Coyote is going to turn around any second. I want to see if I can pull this one without his buddy. Uh, that's a negative. We got a buddy. Kind of want to keep this one. Oh, God. What have we done? <laughs> oh, I'm having all kinds of fun out here in, in Westfall. Haven't you noticed? Oh, okay. It's a good thing that we never did Westfall on a hard mode run because we clearly would have just died all over the place left and right. There's a lot of wildlife out there. A lot of wolves just patrolling about, a lot of vultures. It's kind of a shit show, obviously. Uh, and all I can think of is maybe we gotta clear that stuff out. The problem right now with clearing it all out is it's gonna respawn, like, pretty immediately. So, clearing it out doesn't necessarily buy us a lot of time. And yeah, I'm leaving these spirit runs in. This is a great time to like, get up and like, go get a sandwich or do something else. Uh, it's easier than just editing them out. Uh, which can sometimes cause problems. Uh, let's see... Well... Yeah, I'm tempted to not take these guys on right now. The thing is, they're at a level where we can fight them, but they're too clumped up together with everything. They're too clumped up. Maybe we need to look for the okra. I'd love to find, like, a, just a bunch of Defias trappers all in one place. That'd be great. Alright. Uh, well, pretty soon our gear is going to start breaking. I'm, I'm waiting for that to happen. This is like death number three today. Uh, yeah, we, we're not going to respawn right here, obviously. There's like, there's nowhere safe. We're in like the worst possible spot. Let's come up here. We'll take the high ground. There's no way we could go wrong with that, right? Like, this guy needs to swing out a little bit wider and we could get him away from the camp. Gortus level 15, I'm not going to mess with. We're obviously not getting any of those herbs that are in that camp. Here comes the runner. Uh, let's see... Oh, wow. Kind of want to pull him, but I'm not going to risk pulling the wolf with him, so... Alright, here we go. Here's some Defias. Let's, let's work on this. I see some trappers. Let's go over here. These guys are a little bit more spread out, so as long as we're pulling them back, we should have a better... Better chance of not aggroing friends. Let's put it that way. We are going to have to make some more health potions soon. We are running low because we have been using them basically non-stop. Same thing with all of our other potions, I guess. Uh, we need potions. Oh, of course, of course, we spend the money on a, on bags and we get a blue leather bag. It's love. It's it's eight slots. I mean, that's still an improvement, right? We get two extra slots. Granted, we just spend that that five silver that we lost. 
couldn't have known. I've never seen a, an eight slot bag drop out in the in the wilds like that uh, in a low level area. So that's actually a big win. Uh, what are we gonna do here? I highly doubt that we're gonna get this guy by himself, but we could try it. Let's try to body pull him. Okay, we did it. We got one enemy by itself. Uh, its friend is coming though. We're gonna back into the wolves, obviously. Okay, we need to heal up before we go in on this. Okay, she's wandering off uh, towards the cliff on her own here. Let's, uh... Oh, God! Wait, what? I'm, I'm about to watch the replay because... I'm, I thought I had the right guy targeted. But apparently we had targeted somebody around the corner of the shed. This has been a huge day for failure for me. It's not really doing a lot for my confidence. I think this might be the most I've died in a single span of time uh, in a long time. A lot of spirit running today. We're just having no luck. I'm really waiting for this this thing that they said. They told us about this this 40% increase to leveling. I remember reading this. <laughs> and I'm just kind of waiting for it to have any measurable effect uh, on, our, on my gameplay. So far, it really hasn't. There's a sense that I've leveled a little bit faster than we would have in Classic. Right now it still feels like the same leveling speed that we would have had in the Burning Crusade if you had started up a fresh character in TBC. And just started leveling that, it feels about the same. I mean, I think that's kind of evidenced by the fact that we have not had a single green quest. Uh, which is... It seems a little bit unusual. Maybe it will change, maybe we'll finish all these in six hours. And we'll turn them all in, and we'll be level 20. I don't know. Then again, when you think about 40% additional, it isn't it isn't a lot. It's not twice as much. It's not even half again as much. So maybe this, the expectation that we will level faster isn't really that correct. Okay, <laughs> so, so, let's just come over here, and we'll body aggro. Just getting some alchemy done. Uh, I think it's a good idea just to have these ready. And we gotta make some more health potions as well. Well, that's rude. Can't you see that we're doing some crafting here? Okay, these are Defias looters. At least some of them are looters. Uh, we need trappers and smugglers. Here's a trapper.
Look at these guys all grouped up. I, I can't believe I targeted them and then zipped. That path that we took was so outrageous. It just zipped us around and then we said hello to four of them. Like, okay. Obviously that's what we wanted, right? Uh, you know what? Maybe we should go ahead and do the smart thing here and bandage up a little bit. Uh, before we body pull this. There we go. We need a we need a bow, right? We do need to get a bow. Uh, we don't have bow skill, I don't think. We could learn bow skill and Darnassus. How we get the Darnassus from here, I would have to put some serious thought into. We'd have to get to Menethil, which means we'd probably go to Ironforge, and then we'd have to to run to Menethil. And then I think we could get to Darnassus from there. I, I actually am not sure. It's been a long time since I've had to take a human or a dwarf to Darnassus. But I think that's what we have to do if we ever want to learn bows. Because yeah, we have no ranged weapons right now at all. Oh good, trap us and just wander away. How many people did we get additionally? Yeah, we're not going to be able to take her on. So obviously guys, like, I'm not happy about dying this much either. And I uh, don't know what we can do about it, if anything. We don't have any money to get any more armor. We're kind of taking on, like, the easiest quest we could take on right now. We're making progress through it, but obviously the progress is going to be slow when you're dying 1,500 times. We could wrap up Westfall Stew if we knew where the Okra was. That's not going to get us anywhere. We get a chunk of experience, but we're not going to level. Hmm. Hmm, 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 hmm. There's probably, like, other areas that are not as difficult as Westfall. I don't remember Darkshore having as many problems in Darkshore as we've had here today. I like Westfall a lot, like, aesthetically, and I like how open it is and how, how visible everything is, but... It clearly is not the most survivable zone for me. If you can believe that. I know, it's hard to believe. Let's try our luck on just a boar. Maybe we can make some kind of quest progress here. At this point, I don't know. Yeah, even the boars are basically just crushing us. Just crushing us. <laughs> oh, it's 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 bonkers. It's actually crazy. All I gotta think is we're at a point where all of our gear sucks. All of our gear just must be absolute trash, and there's not a lot I can do about it without dumping a ton of silver somewhere. I don't even know if there's anybody here who sells, like, better armor. Uh, so that might not even be an option. Here, we could fight the same six guys we were able to pull successfully before.
Yeah, see, the way they can root us and then they can wander off, like, that is screwy. Yeah, get the net down early so that by the time she runs, maybe it will be off of us. Yeah, there we go. Alright, 13 out of 15, two more trappers, and then we need to go on the hunt for smugglers. Which is bound to be just as fun as this has been. Let's get away from the 18 guys over there. Okay, 15 out of 15. Uh, that is good enough. Let's head over to the Molson farm and see if maybe we can find a couple more smugglers over there. I'd love to complete something, you know? Just me, I'm, I'm weird like that. I, every once in a while I like to complete a quest. Uh, which we're not going to do if we aggro this elemental and he kills us. That's uh, what's not going to help. Let's come over here. Yeah, these boars, man. They are like the toughest enemies that we've been fighting have been the boars. Uh, we're running out of food. We're also running out of space. Uh, we're going to pop the scroll of spirit here to get some additional regen. Let's do that. We'll open the barnacle clam. Okay. We need two more Gortos Gliver, which you wouldn't think would be too difficult to come by. Didn't get one from that one either. Don't want to fight the level 15. Uh, let's see. Mm -hmm. I'm going to look around at the Molson farm and maybe we'll find the okra on the ground. I, I have to believe it is going to be at one of the farms. Yeah, we're getting lots of boar parts, it's just not the livers that we need. Okay, there's a sack of oats. Surrounded by level 15 guys, which I'm not, I'm just not keen on these guys. They're gonna aggro from like really far away, aren't they? Yeah, yeah they are. All right, excellent, perfect, great, great stuff. Okay, 
Let's try to thread the needle here between these guys and get around this camp. Oh, everything here is just so poorly positioned. Well, we, we've got two smugglers here, and they're both, well, one's level 11, one's level 12. What are the odds that we can get in here and handle these guys with a potion? Probably not good, right? But I'm, I'm gonna have to try it. Oh, we, this is the one where we aggro all of them, isn't it? Okay, well, that didn't work. Maybe we kept this one? Okay, we kept the one, uh, we have two, we don't want two. Pop the potion. Okay, so it did work after a fashion. Wasn't the smoothest thing because we pulled the trapper who was around the front of the building. Uh, we didn't want to do that. Maybe I can body pull this last one without pulling the trapper. Let's try that. Okay, but run over here though. Okay, that's good. Uh, I'd like- well, I can't get the bruise weed anyway. As much as I would like to get the bruise weed, it doesn't matter because I can't. So we need three more smugglers. Should be able to get these oats here without a problem. And we do have some gear that is turned yellow we need to repair. Looks like our bracers could be the gloves. There is our seventh liver, which means we only need one more. What are the odds that we can get it right here? Uh, not that good if the drop rate so far is anything to judge by, but let's give it a shot. We've got a couple of young boars right in the area. Boy, would it feel like a win to finish up one of these quests. Yep, figures. Uh, when I think about it, who gave us this anyway? Liver pie, Salma Seldian. Okay. Okay, there we go. That is huge. That's eight out of eight. Perfect. Let's head up here. Maybe we can grab this silver leaf before somebody else does.
Uh, well, if we want the silver leaf, uh, we have to fight for it. Ah, yikes. Ugh. Huge ugh. Alright, we're not getting the silver leaf. <laughs> oh, boy. We're not getting the silver leaf. Let's find the rest of our smugglers and get this done. Come on up the hill. Come on over here. There you go. Okay, that's 15 out of 15. We have the eight snouts we can take to the Saldean farm. I do want to try to get some of this stuff turned in. Just to see our experience bar budge a little bit. Uh, we are not fighting you. You can just go away, please. I would like to see one okra. If I could see one okra somewhere in the field to like know what it looks like and what I'm looking for, that would be like game changing at this point because I, I honestly don't remember and I have no idea uh, what it is or where it is. If it drops off an enemy, if it's something that we pick up off the ground, I don't know. Need help? Farewell. Yeah, see, I mean, that's... It's not a huge chunk of experience, is it? Of course, the bruise weed that we cannot get. Let's head back down to Sentinel Hill and we'll turn in this main one for the People's Militia. That's going to chain into something else. And we'll empty our bags and see how broke we are then. Maybe it's like the harvest golems that drop the okra? I, I don't know. Let's fight one and just see if it drops anything. These are not the ones we need for the kill quest. I can stop rending because they are immune to rend. Hey, look at that. It dropped what we needed. Now I kind of want to get this taken care of. Of course, it's not going to be a 100% drop rate because why, why would it be good to us like that? Uh, and are any going to spawn out here in the fields? Probably not. Uh, we have a talent point to spend. Why don't we go ahead and do that? I honestly think we want to go into, into deflection. I'm going to go with two points in deflection. You'd think we'd be able to find, like, more sacks of grain. Somewhere around all these farms, but we really haven't had a lot of luck uh, at finding many in one area. 
trying to check behind the buildings and stuff. Uh, but yeah, we're not getting anything back here. This one's level 15. See, this is a level 15 Harvest Watcher. I, I don't think we could take this yet. I'm not comfortable with it, to say the least. Okay, it resisted our Thunderclap. That's a great start. Yeah, without that Ren damage, we just deal so much less damage. So much less damage uh, that it's not really worth fighting these guys when they are a level above us. Or rather, two levels. Two levels above us. Okay, so we know those things can drop Okra. Uh, it doesn't look like we're going to be getting them with any speed, though. The drop rate seems like it's going to be pretty low, so... Uh, I'm actually not going to try to focus that down right now. I, I want to get back to town. I want to turn this quest in and see what is next. And yeah, we have a full inventory, so we do need to get rid of a bunch of stuff. I don't know... Okay, yeah, a lot of it's gray. We had one item to put on the auction house. Not sure what happened to it. Maybe I accidentally vendored it. Greetings. Well, there's five silver that we actually needed. A band of vicious defiance pillagers has been seen plundering the Gold Coast Quarry, Moonbrook, and the Alexton Farmstead. The People's Militia will not stand for such behavior. Dispatch immediately and make the Light's presence known in Westfall. Kill 15 defiance pillagers and 15 looters. So the Alexton Farmstead... The Alliance. Alexton Farmstead, Gold, Co Gold Coast Quarry. Okay, so in this area over here and then down in Moonbrook. Alright, we could do that. Uh, I'm going to head over to the inn and get everything sold. We also need to pick up some more food because we are basically out. This is also level 5 food. So it's possible we can get some level 10 stuff now. Uh, first aid, kind of the same thing. Next time we hit up Stormwind, I do need to visit the first aid trainer to learn the heavy linen bandage. So that our heals can be a little bit more powerful coming from the bandage. Looking for something specific? Let's get rid of all the gray items and stuff we don't need. We're keeping the okra. Flask of oil can go. Uh, we are going to hang on to this. I don't know when I'm going to get cooking to level 50. It might take forever. I'm not good at keeping up on cooking because it's because you need a fire. So if we did not need a fire to cook at, I could probably do cooking a lot more easily. But you throw in that requirement where I have to be at a certain place or I have to carry two more items in my bag to make a fire and then I never level cooking. And it's sad, but that's kind of how it happens. Okay, this I wanted to sell. I need to do some like heavy inventory management, but I'm going to wait till we turn in the stew quest and get all that stuff done. There we go. I'm going to sell that, but then I'm going to grab... Oh, level 15 is the next... Okay, so, yeah. Got it. And yeah, I think that's basically all we can do with our inventory right at this moment. Uh, the milk we don't need. Let's get rid of that. Okay, 28 silver, not bad. We are going to have to get some of our skills at the Warrior Trainer pretty soon, so all of our money is probably going to go towards that. I'm going to take a little bit of a break here. When go we come on, back, uh, what will we be working on? Uh, everything. We need to get Okra, so we're going to try to find some lower level 
harvest watchers or harvest golems to fight. And then we need to do the next part of the people's militia. Uh, so yeah, that should be a fun time. Sorry for all the deaths today, guys. Let me know how your own playthroughs are going, and I would love to hear from you in the Discord. Let me know. As always, I really appreciate all the support. It does mean the world to me. Thank you so much for being here, and we will see you again in Azeroth sometime soon. Bye now.